Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be talking about some features inside of Microsoft Word 2016. Specifically, how to correct and reorganize your text. Let's go ahead and get started. So right here I see I'm working in a document. This is going to be a memo that's going to be sent out to the Community College Career Center. Alright, now if I want to go to the beginning of my document at any time, I can hold down Control and Home on my keyboard and that'll take me to the beginning of the document. Whenever I do a spell check it's always good to start at the beginning so I know where I'm at. Then I could go to the review tab and if I want to do a spell check and check my spelling and grammar I go to the proofing group and I choose this one ABC check spelling and grammar right there or you can press the F7 key on your keyboard if you're using a Windows uh, PC. So we click right there and the first one highlights an entire sentence that says uh, that I want to consider using concise language right over here and eliminating redundant or unnecessary words. So in this case it has a red uh, dotted line under all of meaning that if I read this forward to job interviewers that you will highlight all of your academic it should just be all your academic. So of is unnecessary so I click change. Next it's going to move me down to the next error which is right here. It says be willing to go beyond. Well I spelled two wrong. I put two O's instead of just one. So I could go right here and I could click change. Next it'll take me to this red wavy line right down here and it says benefit but benefit is spelled incorrectly. That's the correct spelling right there and so I click change. Alright that's good. So now down here it says did you make the Dean's List? Well this is another grammar error I could tell because the double blue line underneath the word Dean's. So I could click Dean's List since Dean is a person it has the um, apostrophe right there. I click that and then down here Guidance is spelled incorrectly I could click Change and then finally interview is spelled incorrectly. So I could go right there and I could click change as well. So that brings us to the end of our spelling check. Then it says spelling and grammar check is complete. And I could click OK right there just to uh, just to complete that right there. Alright now what I'm going to show you is how to uh, basically uh, look for something and we're going to use the thesaurus. So the first way is if I want to find a p particular piece of text that says treat every job. Well I could see it right here but let's say I knew I typed that and I didn't know where it was. I could click anywhere in my document even down here and I could do control F and I could type in treat every job and then press enter. When I press enter it'll highlight that right there. That will use my navigation pane on the left and again to get that I did held down control and I pressed F as in find. Now I see treat every job. Okay, so now that I see this paragraph right here, in the second line of the paragraph, I'm going to locate the word donate. Let's see, we go to the second line, and right there is the word donate. If I want to click on the word donate, and I want to just highlight that word, I could double click it to highlight the word. So I double click the word donate, and then I can right click the word, and let's say I don't want to use the word donate, I could actually go down here to synonyms, and I could choose from a list of words, or I can even go to thesaurus right here. All right, so I look at the thesaurus and it says contributes a good word. If I click contribute, it gives me a bunch of different words that deal with contribute. So right there, I see a bunch of different words and I like uh, any of those. I could change them at any time. So I'm going to close the thesaurus. Let's say I wanted to uh, change it to contribute just from the synonyms area. I right click, I go to synonyms and I click contribute and it changes it right there on my page. All right, so there we go. That looks good. Now I'm going to um, look at the last line of that paragraph that says fundamentals, this word right here. Let's say I wanted to change this word to basics. I'd right click it, go to synonyms, and basics is right there and now I click basics. And so that's an easy way that we could change words. I know sometimes when I write paragraphs I use the same words too many times and so this is a good way for you to avoid that problem. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to move your text around. So in the paragraph that begins an associate's degree, which is right up here, if I want to select the entire paragraph I can triple click one, two, three. And so now that I've triple clicked it, I have the entire paragraph selected. Uh, now that's how you select an entire paragraph, but let's say I wanted to select uh, just a sentence, right? Or, um, and I wanted to move the sentence to the end of the paragraph. Well, then I'm just going to do a normal highlight. So let's say I highlight this first sentence and I say, oh, I want this moved to the end of the paragraph. I can now 
click and drag that highlighted section and you can see the vertical black bar moving along with me and I can put it right at the end there and release and now it'll add it right to the end of the paragraph so you don't have to copy and paste or cut and paste in order to move paragraphs you can just do it by highlighting clicking and dragging alright next thing I'm going to do is uh, there's some spots that say career center and let's say the career center just goes by CC um, well, I could change everything in here to just say CC instead of Career Center. What I would do is I'd go to the Home tab, and I'd go to the Editing Group, and I would choose Replace. And then if I go right here to Replace, and I can click right here, Find What? Career Center. And replace with what? CC. Now, before I click OK, I'm going to go right here to More and I'm going to match case, meaning it's going to match the case of whatever it is. So if it's capital letters, it'll stay capital. If it's lowercase, it'll stay lowercase. I click replace all, and it says it made one replacement. I click OK, and I click close. And so there we go. Now I see CC is right up there. So those are some different things in Microsoft Word that you could use. I showed you how to move text, how to use the thesaurus, uh, the synonym finder, find and replace, the navigation pane, um, and also spelling and grammar check. So that's uh, how you can organize your papers a little bit better. I hope that this tutorial has helped you out. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.